Hi, welcome to the channel. I'm going to do a quick review slash overview of the TFAL induction hob. It's a single hob which allows you to do any size source pump. It's got preset functions. We've got your heat milk, stews, stir fry, deep fry and just a quick boil water function. You can also manually control how hot you want the hob to be. Being an induction hob, the hob itself doesn't heat up. What it does is that it uses electromagnetic induction to induce a current inside the base of, what, of your saucepan or pan, whichever, whatever you're putting on the hob. And it's the resistance of that current which heats up the pan and heats up you know, whatever you're cooking. And that's what makes it more efficient than just a standard hob which heats up itself because you're not wasting any energy heating up the surface all of the energy goes directly into heating up the pan uh, it heats up very quickly as well uh, you'll be surprised how hot it can get so I always recommend just using a low to medium heat when you're using an induction hob being an induction hob you do need to use saucepans or pans or frying pans that have a magnetic base quick test, get a magnet, slap it on the base, as long as it's flat and magnetic it should work. So we're talking cast iron, stainless steel, aluminium with a stainless steel plate would be fine. Uh, very happy with this product, easy to clean, I gave it a quick wipe with some glass cleaner, it comes up just fine. When it's on it's not too loud, it does have an inbuilt fan to reduce the heat on the electrical components. Um, after the, the hob has been used it will continue to run to cool down the hob itself obviously with a hot plate with the pan on top heating up some of the heat goes into the hob so you have to be careful after you use it with its size you can use it anywhere so if you're in a hotel you just need something to tie you over or if you're having a dinner party you can always put it on your table and um, you can do say a Korean hot pot or even a Korean barbecue if you just put a grill pan on top, heat it up, got your temperature controls, it goes from 1 to 10, stick with 1 to 7, you'll be alright. As again, being induction, you don't need to use the highest heaters. It's not too expensive either, this was around £40, 40 to £50, pounds depending on where you shop. Uh, so we're looking at around $60 to $70. Dollars. For more information, just click on the links below. Um, thank you very much.